In a recent interview with Larry Summers, the interviewer asked what skills young people should pick up, especially during this AI boom. Larry responded with a bold statement, studying coding is a bad idea. So studying coding, bad idea. Now, before you think I'm creating unnecessary hype, let me tell you, Larry is not just any random person. He is a renowned economist, former U.S. Treasury Secretary, and former president of Harvard University, and an influential figure in the world of AI as a key advisor to OpenAI. So, when a legend like him drops such a bombshell without even flinching, it's definitely worth paying attention to. Telling my grandchild not to go study coding, or just like you don't have to learn to use a slide rule. Uh, anymore. You don't have to learn to calculate a square root on a piece of paper. Coding's going to be like that. I mean, super high level genius new artificial system's going to be not going to be like that, but you know, coding the data system for coding the data system to keep track of when reservations are going in and out of this hotel, that is not, that's going to be a task that a machine's going to do and that person's right. not going to have to understand. So, studying coding, Bad idea. Now, to put this in perspective, think back to the days before mobile phones. There were people whose job was to operate switchboards and connect calls manually. As technology advanced, those jobs became obsolete. This means that the demand for basic coding skills might decrease over time. By the way, Summers isn't the only one saying this. We've uploaded a video on our channel where Imad Mustak, founder of Stability AI, says the same thing. According to him, there will be no programmers within the next five years. There are no programmers in five years. No programmers in five years. And did you know that 41% of code on GitHub is already AI generated? So an inevitable is 41% of all code on GitHub right now is AI generated. Wow. If you're a programmer or interested in this topic, I suggest you watch our video by clicking the I button. So if not coding, then what? Well, Larry had a very insightful answer to this question. Studying how to work in a group on an act of creation and defining purpose, I think that's going to be hugely uh, important. I think the one sentence line would be AI is going to come for IQ before it comes for EQ. And that's going to require big changes in what we think of as education. I mean, well, call these skills soft skills, like working in groups, collaborating on creative projects, and defining a purpose or mission. These skills are harder to automate and require human intelligence, emotional intelligence, and creativity. In short, they're things AI will struggle to replicate. In the age of AI, the future belongs to those who can think creatively, work well with others, and bring a unique human touch to their work. But wait, what about the people who have been learning and mastering coding for years? Why do these experts say such? Such things? And what will the world look like in five to ten years? Before answering these questions, let me tell you that coding jobs are becoming scarce. Major tech companies are laying off employees. Gone are the days when a coding boot camp guaranteed a high-paying job. The market is oversaturated. For example, recent news highlighted that many people are applying for software engineering internships at just a few dollars per hour, showing how competitive it has become. There are thousands of AI coding systems like AlphaCode, which can code better than many humans. For example, AlphaCode 2 outperforms 85% of programmers, and future versions like AlphaCode 3 could revolutionize the industry even further. Or AI tools like Devon, based on GPT-4, have shown big improvements in coding. As AI models get better with GPT-5 and beyond, they'll improve AI's coding skills even more, making them important for anyone entering the field. Whatever happens next, one thing is clear. In the next 5 to 10 years, we'll see more changes than we've seen in the last 30 years combined. This raises a big question. Should you dive into a career in this industry when the future seems so uncertain? Or should newbies focus on hot fields like AI? And what about those already deep in programming? In my view, learning to code still has its perks. AI and machine learning rely heavily on coding jobs. Plus, the demand for skilled software engineers is booming. The US Bureau of Labor Statistics predicts a 22-26% spike in jobs over the next decade. 
The software market is set to grow, fueled by remote work and more spending on cloud tech. AI won't replace programmers outright. It'll actually enhance their roles, letting them tackle trickier tasks. So, if you're in this game or thinking about it, aim to either master coding or steer clear of it entirely. Don't settle for a job a basic AI tool could handle. Yeah, I know, everyone starts from scratch, but be ready to level up continuously. And remember, it's not just coding jobs. AI will shake up every profession. So whatever you do, add your own spice to stand out. Predicting long-term job trends is tough, but staying in the loop with industry shifts and new tech is key. Stay ahead, adapt, and make impactful moves before it's too late. Well, what do you think kids should learn coding in school or not? Would you choose programming as a profession or do you think it's not worth it anymore? Share your thoughts and check out these videos on your screen for more interesting and AI-related content.